Hey, good morning. I wanted to talk to you today about transplanting. I had planted uh, this little viola last fall, and so it's now springtime, early summer, um, and I had put it in a little pot and forgotten about it. And I picked it up the other day and realized, oh my goodness, look at this root ball. It's coming through the bottom. So I've made a decision that I'm going to uh, repot it and give it a little bit more root room. And I've gotten a nice pot here, and I've got a stone, some very small little porous stone that I'm going to put in the bottom of the pot to kind of keep the soil from coming out. Uh, this pot, I did take the time to put in a little bleach bath. It's really a good idea if you've had pots sitting around for a long time and you can't remember if there was a sick plant in it or not. So a little light bleach uh, rinse is a really good idea to keep the pot plant that you're putting in here uh, a little bit healthy. Okay, so we'll get started on that. I've got a little bit of potting soil and what I did was I reconstituted it a little bit. I had a very nice potting mix. Uh, that has mycorrhizae and some oyster shell and all kinds of really great um, beneficial uh, things in it. And I took some old potting soil and I've just mixed it around. I don't know if you can really see that, uh, but I've just uh, fortified a little bit to begin uh, this transplant process. So I'm going to put a little bit of soil down here on the bottom and put it about to here. I'm hoping that I don't have to take soil back out. Now, the dilemma here is that you've got all these fine roots that have grown through the holes, and I'm probably going to have to lose some of those roots. So I'm just going to give it a little tap and see how much we can uh, save taking it out of the pot here. Oop, not too much. So we lost those roots, but we still got a lot of root ball there to work with. So now I'm just going to get it um, inside the pot here. About the depth that I want it. I probably should have wet this uh, soil a little bit because it's very, very dry and that would have really helped um, with the root shock that's going to happen to this little plant. So as you can see I've got this all pretty much to level and it looks about right for this. Now because I just mentioned that there was some root shock um, I actually like to use uh, seaweed extract for the roots. It's really good. It has a uh, growth hormone in it. Kelp grows very, very fast. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon in there and I'm going to water it in. And this will really help this plant um, overcome that loss of root down there on the bottom. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually trim this plant back a little bit drastically because I did lose quite a bit of the root here. It's a good idea to trim the top a little bit. And this is a, a perennial. So it will come back, but I'm going to cut it back so that it can really overcome what I just did to it. So done a little trim and it's not going to look super happy for a while. It might uh, be wilted by the end of um, like in the next hour, it might really show some wilt. But that's one of the nice things about the kelp is that it really helps uh, prevent that shock. All right, it's got some water, got a drink and that's it. It's all ready to go.